Hello, and welcome to this video. And on this video, I'm going to show you briefly on how to buy your hosting account with Namecheap and uh, buy your domain name, make it uh, conduct a, a simple domain uh, search to know the availability of your domain, and of course, make it work, change your DNS and all that. So this video is going to be a little bit practical, and let's go to the video properly now. For those of you that are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video because I make video content just like this very one you're watching that revolves around how to actually uh, build up and some technical tutorials just like this you are about to watch. So we are using domain, uh, what's it called, uh, Namecheap for this uh, practical tutorial, but this can easily work for any of your prefer hosting company. It's just like, okay, a training that will enable you to do some technical things as a, is that an upcoming developer or also someone that really wants uh, to buy a hosting and domain. Either you want to start a business, that can be a video business, that can be any kind of business, but you just want to buy the hosting and domain before you get back to the, the person that will build the solution for you. Or better still, you want to make choice preference of the name chip as your as your hosting provider and you are, you are skeptical, you don't know your whereabouts, the whole uh, what's called process. Now, I'm going to be very much uh, uh, a little bit uh, fast so that we're able to cover some certain things as well. So now coming here, this is the uh, namecheap.com. You can go to the official website. What's namecheap.com? It's uh, one of the popular hosting company in the world, right? So you can able to uh, host with them and then, of course, get... Uh, your website up and running. So if you come to this place, before you buy hosting from them, first of all, you need to uh, pay attention. You need to get your domain uh, name, right? So you need to get your domain name. You need to make sure that your domain name is being registered. On, and then we have several registra registrar in the world. But those of you that are coming from Nigeria, you're watching this and from Nigeria. So I prefer you use something like domain King, okay, so just go to domainking.ng, is a popular domain registrar in Nigeria. You can see it right away on my screen. So I'm going to be much uh, detailed as possible to give you some deeper explanation of how to go about the whole process. But then I may not actually register an actual domain, but every process is the same thing. So come in this place, you need to have a free account, you just have a Gmail account or Yahoo email, any one of your choice to have access to the client area. So once you have this, you have to be presented with a, a client area. Now, what is the client area on uh, either Domain King or any of your registrar? The client area has to do with like, okay, the place where you manage your portfolios. That include your domain, your active services with them and all that. So you can see from this place, I only have but uh, one domain listed on this particular account. You can see I have a zero services. What it means is this, you can use Domain King to practically buy your domain right so even without hosting with them so but before you get your domain you need to use another uh, tool which we call whois.com this is actually a free to a uh, globally recognized or enable you to query the system to understand whether the availability of your domain is there before even you proceed so the reason for it is because it's very important that you know whether this uh, domain is available before you uh, actually make the purchase okay Okay, now for instance, uh, the domain we're going to be dealing with is v2app.com.ng. This is actually a v2 website system, but it's already registered. If you click on who is, it's going to give you a query analysis about the domain. So pay attention because the reason why I'm presenting this is because I have several things I need to be pointed out for you on this particular uh, who is uh, uh, system. Now, from this place, you see that the system will fetch up the domain, telling you the name of the domain, telling you the register of the domain. Then further give you a name server, which is very important. Pay attention to this because this is getting a little bit technical and, and I want to get it right. Now, once you have registered your domain, like I've purchased the domain right now, if you go to this domain right now, domains, you'll be able to see that uh, if I, I have several domains that already expire, because once you don't renew your domain with your registrar, once is one year, every domain has a validity of one year. You can purchase a hosting account with your hosting provider and the validity may be around uh, one month to six months to three months. But domain, each domain has a validity of uh, one year. So if I type here, you have to see here that I have a, 
vtoapp.com.ng as the domain. So once you have registered it, you see that the domain will be active. You can see it on the status, it's going to be reading active. So just like this particular one. So once it's active, what you needed to do is to uh, quickly click on this uh, little arrow here, then click manage name server. So you can see it right away. I'm just going to click on manage name server. So what is a name server? A name server is what gives you uh, the visibility on the internet let me just put it that way because i don't want to sound techy on this video uh, for those of you that are web developer you know what is a name server so this is what your hosting company will provide you and you need to change it on your registrar end which is what we call domain reg uh, registrar uh, what's called change now we this name server is going to help you uh, a lot because without it your website will not be visible on the internet so and it takes approximately 40 24 hours for this to happen once you have changed it so quickly how do we now start the domain registration process now once you register a domain just copy the name of the the domain you have registered head over to name chip okay so once you're on name chip click on hosting click on share hosting okay they have several plans there but at least for a start uh, because you know most of these uh, hosting company their prices are outrageous right so once you come to this place you see that share hosting under the share hosting they have stellar they have stellar these are the ca three categories they have the stellar and this this stay is it stellar or so stellar plus then stellar business so depending on your budget but i like to start as little as the one of the first package which is around two dollar right so start with that. So what you need to do to get started, just click on this get started. You can see it right away, written boldly. Just click on this get started. I'm using this uh, pointing arrow for you so that you get it right, right? So just click on this get started. The first thing that the system will require from you is a domain. So pay attention here. You say connect to new domain name, existing domain. Remember, we have already registered the domain on Domain King, right? You know, so that this video will not be complicated to you. So since we have registered it, we need to select this first option here. Con, uh, what's called select the second option. I mean to say this particular option, which is existing domain, because I've already registered it, right? So remember, before you create this, uh, make this process, and you have registered the domain, make sure you leave it for like one hour, two hours, or even three hours, so that the system will recognize, the World Wide Web will recognize that this domain is uh, registered. Especially, you can easily check, check the who is to make sure that your domain is coming, appearing on the who is directly before you proceed with this action. Because of that, because uh, a name chip server always uh, starts to know whether that domain is actually registered. So once you select the second option, then you, you will see that where the system will ask you existing domain. Can you see it right away? So I'm just going to quickly uh, type the, the domain here. So remember, our domain is what? Uh, Vtoapp.com.ng. I'm just like using it as a case study. So I'm just going to copy this, then come here. Uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, I needed to have an account. So once you click on this, uh, this particular one, you, you say select the existing domain. So what it means is this, you need to actually log in into your account before you can actually do this operation. So just sign in, because if you already have an account with them, they'll be able to give you a provision to use, but do not use new domain, new, no, new, new domain here, as in the new domain here simply means uh, you want to purchase a new one, right? But since you have registered with Domain King, make sure you use the existing domain option. So once you click existing domain option, it will require you to sign in to select your domain. So create an account with the name chip and then paste the domain name as like, okay, put the domain name where they ask you to put it. And the system will automatically touch it on the uh, registrar directory and then tell you to proceed. Once you tell you to proceed, you go on and make your payment, which of course you have to see that the amount is still going to remain this amount, which is around $2.88. It's not going to change, right? So once you make your payments, then give the system like approximately 24 to 48 hours. Your website should be coming up with an index page. And that is how to make that registration, that your domain, secure your domain with Domain King. You can use any other registrar. And then thank me later, because if you don't, uh, if you search some your domain is not available here, make sure you use a different 
name criteria to come up with a very good domain name. If you have any technical questions as regard to this video, make sure you DM us on WhatsApp for us to give you further clarification. But this is how to actually register a domain, connect it to your hosting account with name chip using Domain King as a uh, registrar. You can apply this with different kinds of uh, registrar and also hosting uh, company and then get the job done. But if this seems to be very technical for you, let us know on the WhatsApp. I remember who shared that. I'm going to see you in the very next video. Thanks and God bless.